Welcome to Grimm's Story Time. Story Time with Grimm Lens. Yeah, it's beautiful. There All right, guys. Go. And now, and Grimm wakey, Lens. wakey, Tom. It's time for Grimm Story Time. Grimm Story Time. I'm ready. Do, 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 do. You ready? <laughs> yes. Super duper. Am I reading? You're reading again. I'm Here you go. Reading. All right, guys, I'll Get leave you here. with Grim. I hope you enjoy the show. Get out of here. <laughs> it's my time. I've been asleep. Oh, <laughs> 20 very scary stories. <laughs> Just in time for the spookiest time of the year. <sighs> By Ruby Hannes. Hi everyone, do you notice that Matt's not here? Well, actually, he kind of is. He's right here. Trying to get rid of me, Grim? I'll never go anywhere. Now, don't you think it's about time you got to reading? Because looking at my watch, I don't have a fucking watch. Now, be- Poof, be gone. Away with you. I am well, eternal. I, can't I don't really know have. where I watch from the darkness. Oh, well. I live in the corners of your nightmares. I'm the silent pink panty ah. wearing a big hand in the corner. Laughing and smacking his head on the wall. Ever. The wall, wall, the wall, wall. Forced to read. Forced to wear chains. Forced to do everything. Ah. I'll never be free. I don't know if I want to be free. So, I'm gonna read this story, and you're gonna like it and add applause. All right, here's the story. I don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna find out together. My eyes went dry. So this is, like I said last time, I 20, very, 20, scary very scary stories. Just in time for the spookiest time of the, the year. Time. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, the <laughs> Wrong, I was thinking of last season. 20 very scary stories. See that? Look at that. That's enough of that. Okay. Matt's a bookmark I stole. I'm a thief. The Haunted Woods. Yeah. Look at that. That's the sound it makes. Okay. Next. The Haunted Woods. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can see it. Okay. Okay. It was the day before Halloween. Mac and his friends were excited to go to the Halloween carnival in the park later that night. Night. It's nighttime here. It's always a little bit different every year, said Maria, as they were leaving the high school parking lot. So you never know exactly what to expect. This year, I hear that they were going to a haunted pigs, said Mac. I bet that will be fun, said Jimmy, who is a big Halloween fan. I can't wait to see everyone's Halloween costume, said Megan, Mac's girlfriend. It was a balmy fall afternoon, perfect for a Halloween carnival. I sound like shit tonight. That evening after dinner, the four friends got dressed in their Halloween costumes and met at the park where the carnival was being held. Ooh, it's not spooky yet. <laughs> Animatronic. Blah, 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 fucking fuck! Animatronic jack o' lanterns and ghosts hung from the treetops. Speakers were all around playing scary Halloween music and sound effects. 
kids were running around in Halloween costumes and the grown-ups were drinking apple cider and chatting at picnic tables. Let's go to the Haunted Woods, said Jimmy excitedly. My dad runs the Haunted Woods, said Megan. He can tell us where it is. Oh, wow. She can go ask her daddy. I don't have one of those. <laughs> the Haunted Woods is right over there, said Megan's dad, pointing to a sign on the left side of the four friends. Thanks, Dad, said Megan. That's something I never said. Thanks, Dad. I'm so sad. 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 I'm so sad. Thanks, Dad. I'm so sad. Thanks, Dad. I'm so sad. Thanks, Dad. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Will you be my dad? Will you? <laughs> oh, a little bug. No, I'm reading. The friends descended into the haunted woods. Fake cobwebs hung in the trees, and jack-o'-lanterns grinned at them from the path. Spooky decorations were everywhere, and scary sound effects and music and music <laughs> poured out of the speakers from above. I should have pre-read this. Fuck! Oh no! Man, Megan said, Jimmy, your dad really does know how to make a haunted forest. What the fuck was that? No answer, okay. I know, said Megan. It's all so magical and spooky. Halfway through the woods, a demonic laugh sounded deep in the forest. The four friends assumed that it was just part of the haunted attraction, so they plodded on through the trees. This is creepy, said Mac. I keep wanting to say mac and cheese. <laughs> I know, said Megan. Real creepy. I don't know why she's got to say it so weird like that. The demonic laughter started up again. This is so cool, said Jimmy enthusiastically. A skeleton jumped out from behind a tree and did a little dance. <gasps> Matt does a lot of dancing. A lot of little dancing. It's adorable. The friends laughed, and their laughter was cut short when they spotted a towering figure in the distance. Probably just a costume, said Maria. Probably not! And they kept talking and laughing, but something about the figure felt off. Maybe it was the way it just stared at them and did not really move, but whatever it was, they assumed that was just an animatronic. Maybe you shouldn't assume these things! Pretty stupid to assume. Or someone in a really scary Halloween costume, so the four of them continued on through the haunted woods. They looked back, and the figure was still there. I wonder if these woods are haunted. I wonder. Sometimes I hear some really weird things out here brought my bait too. Matt didn't take it away. Nope. He did not. Where was I? It's just a decoration for the haunted woods, Mac reasoned with himself. Okay, that's not bait. It's just cold out here. I'm a dragon. I'm a fire-breathing dragon. Okay, I'm going to say that again. It's just a decoration for the haunted woods, Mac reasoned with himself. Suddenly, and without warning, Jimmy tapped Mac on the shoulder. Mac spun around. Cut it out! Jimmy paid no attention. I don't ever pay attention either, so I can relate. I want to see who can get closest to the figure without having the pants scared off of them. Oh, no. Are they going to get scared and take their pants off? That's probably not a good idea. I mean, I'd do it, but they shouldn't. I'm a bad example. Ooh, that sounds fun, said Megan. Race ya, said Jimmy, and ran towards the figure. Hey, no fair, said Maria, running after Jimmy. Mac and Megan ran to catch up with their friends. 
Mac had to admit he was terrified to come in close contact with this figure, although he assumed he was just being a scaredy cat. Don't assume! Soon, there he was with his friends at the feet of the figure. The feet were big, abnormally big. Is it Matt? It's Matt. This is about Matt. Yeah. They finally got the courage to look up at the figure. It was a clown. The most terrifying clown the four friends had ever seen. He was 20 feet tall. He wore a red and white pinstripe jumpsuit with red pom-pom buttons down the front. And the jumpsuit was covered in blood. And on the clown's face was a wide and terrifying grin. Like this. Or, you know, insert Matt's face here. Alright. His eyes were huge and had no color. Blood dripped out of the clown's large white eyes. His makeup was even more terrifying. His face was white as a ghost and bright red circles were painted around his eyes. The clown's fangs were razor sharp and splattered with blood. <gasps> oh shit! Ew, I hate clowns, said Maria. Are you kidding, asked Jimmy? Clowns are so cool! The clown laughed a terrifying and evil laugh. The next day was Halloween. That afternoon, Mac and his friends went to Megan's house to do some Halloween activities and carve pumpkins. I'll have to tell Megan's dad how terrifying the clown decoration was last night, Mac thought to himself as he knocked. Megan's mom opened the door. She was dressed in a Halloween t-shirt and she wore an orange and black striped shirt with black cats, ghosts, and witches on it. That sounds cute. Hello, Mac, she said with a warm smile. Megan and the others are at the table getting ready to carve pumpkins. They're waiting for you. Mac walked inside Megan's house. They were blah, blah, blah. There were creepy Halloween decorations everywhere, making Megan's house look like a magical haunted house. I like it. I like that. Hi, Mac, said Megan. Mac could see that she was already scooping the guts out of her pumpkin. The guts! Mac scooped out his pumpkin and immediately started carving the face. Meanwhile, Megan was carving her pumpkin into a haunted house. Megan's dad entered the room. How are the jack-o'-lanterns coming along, he asked. Good, said Megan. Do you want to see mine? Sure, said Megan's dad. Jimmy interrupted. The animatronic clown you had in the haunted woods was so cool, he said. Megan's dad wrinkled his, his eyebrows. Huh, he said. He turned to Megan's mom. Jenny, do you remember an animatronic clown in the haunted woods last night? Megan's mom shook her head. There were no animatronic clowns in the haunted woods, said Megan's dad. What? Okay, so it has this little thing right here. I'm gonna read it anyway. All right, this isn't part of the story. It's just like a question thing. All right, here we go. So what do you think it was? Do you think it was an off? Blah, blah, blah. Do you think it was someone in a costume, or was there a chance that Megan's dad put a clown animatronic in the haunted woods and forgot about it? Or do you think that it really was an evil clown in those woods? Do you think it was a kid trying to mess with him, or do you think it might have been someone else altogether? Well, whoever it was, they were scary, and they didn't get paid, so that's a plus. There you go. There you have it. That, that's everything. And that's the only story I'm going to read. That's all you get. Bye-bye now. Bye. I said bye. I don't know what you're still doing here. But you need to get on. It's dark and cold out here. Go home. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? What am I doing? Bye. Yeah, here it's smoke with my